The EFF uh, is traveling the length and breadth of the country, especially here in KwaZulu Natal. As you know, that they are launching their manifesto uh, come the weekend on the 10th of uh, February at the, the, uh, the Moses Mabidia Stadium. So we are here with the EFF president Julius Malema. He was uh, addressing the students at uh, the duties uh, in Dumiso campus here in Peter Marisbeck. Let us engage him because we know that uh, this, about five of them or six of them, they are not allowed today to attend today's sauna to be addressed by the president of the country, Cyril Ramaphosa. Mr. Malema, thanks a lot for your time. Just take us through about today's expectations of the sauna. Do you think the president will inspire the country and to have to have a confidence confidence so that they'll be able to fight the myriad of challenges that you are facing in this country well he has failed, failed completely he said uh, to Mamina but uh, he was saying to Mamina to go and switch off electricity he was saying to Mamina to go and close jobs and collapse the economy he has failed in all aspects the health facilities have collapsed the infrastructure that he inherited has collapsed because the man has got nothing that he can do right especially with his collective of the ANC they don't want us in parliament today because it's a group of cowards there is no leader who's a coward like president Ramaphosa who's been protected by the judges he's hiding behind the red dresses of the judges because he knows politically he will not be able to defeat us we're not worried about that we are on the ground mobilizing our people for the launch of our manifesto so that we can take over this power and deliver proper services to our people give them the land give them jobs and stop load shedding uh, are you going to appeal the decision We'll appeal it to the Constitutional Court because we must not allow that precedence where elected members of parliament can be removed through undemocratic uh, methods and supported by the captured judiciary. It started like that in Zimbabwe where members of parliament are rough tackled, are violated, journalists are arrested as we speak in Zimbabwe and the judges are agreeing with that nonsense. We saw it in Zimbabwe, it's coming to South Africa, it must be stopped, it must be stopped with immediate effect. Judges are not caught, judges are not the constitution, judges are not God, and therefore they must be criticized when they are wrong. How do you say, no, must not call point of order? You regulate speech in parliament, where parliament is a mini heaven, where parliamentarians can say anything without fear of being prosecuted or arrested because they are protected by parliamentary privileges. You come as a judge and take away that, you know, fundamental and absolute right of members of parliament. We are going to challenge this and we are going to challenge these judges and we will show them that they are politically driven, they have descended into the arena and therefore they are no longer judges, they are politicians and they will be treated as such.